your children taken into, into captivity as slaves, the first thing you would do is, I'm a soldier, and I have an army, and we're gonna, we're gonna go find the Amalekites, and we're gonna fight them, and we're gonna destroy them. That's the first thing that would come into a service of, of a mind of a person that has just lost all this, but not David. It says that David said to Abathod the priest, bring me the holy vest. Bring me the holy vest. That, that signifies what, what the, the, the priest would put on before he would enter the presence of God. It, it was like a, a thing to remind yourself, I'm about to enter the presence of God, and so I need to mentally, physically, and spiritually prepare myself. I'm about to have an encounter with God. And that's what David says. He says to the high priest, there, bring me the holy vest. Now this is a man known for war. It, it all began as a young lad, right? Nobody wanted to fight this, this, this giant named Goliath who was mocking God and mocking the Israelites and making fun of them. He was just laughing. And David comes to the battlefield to check on his brothers and he hears this, this giant, this, this heathen, you know, blaspheme in the name of God. David says, you know, let me at him. And he goes and defeats them this giant, and, and that's how his story began, how, what an what a incredible warrior this man was, and, and such that he joins the army of Saul, and, and songs begin to be formulated about David, and they have songs about Saul, and how courageous, and how strong he was, but the songs about David were better, and greater, and, and, and that's one of the parts of jealousy that, that consumed Saul, that they spoke higher uh, of David than they did of me, but don't miss this, the main point of David's life was not how powerful and what a warrior he was, but rather what a worshiper he was. Wherever he faced a tough decision, whenever he faced a tough situation in his life, he worshiped God. He didn't have the, have the, the need, I mean, the, 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 the desire. He didn't always come in to worship like, you know, I want to worship you. No, sometimes he says, I need to worship you. And that's what he did. He, he, he didn't run off to, to battle. He didn't go and fight people. No, he looked towards God. He said, God, you are in charge of everything. There's nothing that eludes your hand. And there's nothing that you cannot change. And so I will worship you in the midst of my worst. Because you can overcome anything in my life. And so I come to you. The only time a priest would ever put that holy vest on was to come into the presence of God and, and do the intercessory prayers for the people. And in Hebrews chapter 8, verses 1 through 